Ted, what is it? Let me give you an overview. TED is a nonprofit organization dedicated to spreading ideas. It's owned by the Sapling Foundation, which was founded and established in 1996 by an entrepreneur named Chris Anderson. TED was later purchased by the Sapling Foundation in 2001. The purpose of TED, which is technology, entertainment, and design, is philanthropy, volunteerism, and grant making. In regard to their tax code designation, they are a 501c3 organization. And under that uh, identification, they're listed as an organization that is for the following purposes, religious, educational, charitable, scientific, literary, testing for public safety, fostering national or international amateur sports competition, as long as it doesn't provide athletic facilities or equipment, or the prevention of cruelty to children or animals. As far as their revenue stream, they, even though they are considered a nonprofit, they do still receive revenue, even though they cannot show a profit for the end of the year. In 2014, which is the most recent year I have access to, they recorded revenues of $62.4 million nearly, and they reported expenses at just under $62.7 million. And that also includes money going to the chief executive officer, etc. As far as their social issue or innovation, the social innovation that TED is trying to tackle is that of informing people of the world in regard to different cultures and sharing deeper understandings of varying disciplines. They have innovated by attracting some of the most informed, well-presented, and creative speakers who speak on various topics from providing clean water to even educating the world's children. They also present TED prizes in which they uh, encourage competition to improve or educate anything or anywhere in the world. So how do we measure their impact? The mission statement says that their purpose is to spread ideas. The impact can be measured by how many people have been exposed to either TED's exposed ideas, their, their ideas, or the projects that have come about because of the TED Prize. An example of a winner of the TED Prize is Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution. He won in 2010, and his, his uh, prize was for affecting food knowledge in the United Kingdom, the United States, and Australia. Now, along with social innovation, there are struggles and there are successes. TED has had many successes. Their new ideas are shared daily, and many of the talks have been seen millions of times, some of them in the tens of millions. Their TED prizes have directly affected thousands, if not millions of people. Now, along with that, they also have struggles, and there are still many people throughout the world who do not have access either to the ideas being spread or the organizations that TED has funded through their prizes. So what about recommendations? As far as recommendations improving the social innovation, TED already offers all their talks for free via YouTube and other mechanisms. Perhaps one of the ways they could improve their innovation is through partnering with a company like CoreSite Realty, who rents out storage space in their server farms. Perhaps CoreSite could donate server space as a charitable donation to TED, as TED states that bandwidth is expensive. If they're able to relieve some of that expense, then of course, TED could move on with their social innovation in a, at a higher scale. Which means, brings me to my next point. What are their scaling options? Well, TED has been able to partner with NPR, Alexa and Google Home, Roku, Amazon, Chromecast, Apple TV, Google Play, the App Store with Apple, and they've been translated into 113 languages with over 107,000 translations. So what do I suggest they do to scale their innovation? Well, their impact is, is measured by how many people have access to and, and hear the ideas shared on their platform. I propose a TED prize for spreading internet access across countries that lack it, and another TED Prize for getting cheap internet accessible devices into the hands of those in the countries affected by the internet provided TED Prize. In this way, more people would have access to these ideas. Also, perhaps more TED conventions could be held in harder to reach locations where people who typically have no idea what a TED Talk is will have access to hear one. This may include parts of Africa and India as well as parts of the Middle East and Russia. Here are the sources that I use to find the information that I've shared with you. Of course, I went to www.ted.com where I found most of my information, either on their About Our Organization or their talks pages, etc. I also found information through youtube.com, 
jamiesfoodrevolution.org slash what we do. And then finally, in order to find the revenue projections, I went to, or revenue um, statements, I went to projects.propublica.org slash nonprofit slash organizations and then the number you see there. All in all, I'm very satisfied with what Ted has been able to accomplish as far as the social innovation. They've been a fantastic proponent of social change and, and spreading, as they say, spreading new ideas. Thank you.